Okay. This is Young Slip, like a double slip experiment. Okay. I'm just going to draw the apparatus, like so. Where we have two slits in our aperture. From the center of the two slits, we have a uh, distance D away. Okay. We have our screen, which is a distance L away. Now, the distance M is a lot larger than the distance D. Okay. Oh, that means we draw our aperture again. Yeah. Our screen is over here. Draw two lines to there. And then our two lines. Yeah. Since D is a not lot larger than L, we can assume that the angle of theta for our boat, say our line one, Line two, they're approximately parallel, so that they both have the angle of theta. So if we redraw it, where our distance in between the center of the two holes is a distance d away, and these have the angle of theta again. Now, if we draw a line perpendicular from the line two. Line one. So perpendicular from line two towards line one, we also perpendicular to line one. So angle of theta. Now, if we redraw the triangle, okay, so D, so theta. This is our D sine theta. This is our angle of D, our length D cos theta. So D sine theta is this length here. Now it's line 1 and line 2 are n times lambda away, but the maxima will overlap, so it will cause constructive interference for when n times lambda equals d sine theta. And for constructive interference, okay, and for destructive interference, then n plus a half lambda equals d sine theta. Okay, that's for when both of the when both of the light sources, when both of the monochromatic light sources are out of phase, when 180 degrees, because destructive interference. So when we look at the screen itself, we measure the intensity. So this is our center. We have a peak, and I'll drop down. I'll go again, again. So this center is clearly where the maximum will be. This value here is our first minima. So that's our first destructive interference. Is when our two waves fully out of phase, so out of phase by pi over 2, 